Oh frick. What's up everybody? Ray Ray Craze here. And welcome to a brand new game on this channel. F1 2020. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. I love this I love the F1 series, especially like the uh, races I've been watching. A lot more races recent recently. I watched the the both the British Grand Prix, the Spanish Grand Prix. I've watched um, a bit of the Hungarian Grand Prix. So yeah, I'm really excited for this game. So as you can see, we are in the My Team category, so we're going to be making our own team today. So this is our character. Um, yes, I have brought back Jimmy Weyes. He's also going to be an F1 guy. So um, yeah, right. select now, Jimmy Weyes. Alright, so the key details. First we gotta go to this one. What would you what name would you like to Oh we were Ray Oh gosh. Eh. Ray Ray Racing right here. Nice. Nice. Ray Ray Racing. So we need to sign up. So we also need to sign a primary sponsor according to our manager here, which um, has his button buttoned up. Warren, I think you can learn from that our guy. Our primary sponsor will pay a signing bonus to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They will also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal that they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Alright, so... Wow, look at that, 4.2 million dollars, my goodness. F1 is really making that money. So, uh, we got a shark. Hmm. Earn five construction points champ as a team, achieve five points finishes during the season. What can we do? Finish 10th or better. Hmm. I like Equinox. Maybe Equinox I'm looking at. Um, yeah, Equinox. Fantastic. Definitely Equinox. Now we've got a budget to work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. Okay, we gotta we sign a power performance and durability from our power unit, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. Alright, so we can go with Honda, Renault, Mercedes, and Ferrari. These are the four engine manufacturers you can go with. Now, out of all of them, apparently Ferrari has the best performance and durability. But, let's be real, that's not the case. <laughs> Especially in 2020 here, not, not the case. Uh, Mercedes, really good. Although, I think um, Honda's good too. But the durability is at 76. So, hmm, you gotta keep in mind we got uh, other stuff to invest in. Hmm, but this is our engine though, this is really important. So, I am not signing with Ferrari. Um, uh, maybe hi, um, Mercedes here. We almost have all the key partners for our team now, but we still need a teammate for you. Oh, we get to hire a teammate. These so let's see who we're working with. Available to be your first teammate. They all have their own strengths and weaknesses, so consider everything when deciding who to hire. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough a claim, they will level up. The higher a driver's level, the more a claim they will earn for their current team. And remember, the faster the team levels up, the faster our income will increase. The higher a driver's experience, the more resource points are earned mm, to spend interesting. on vehicle upgrades. Racecraft is the driver's skill to effectively complete overtakes when opportunities arise. Awareness shows the driver's ability to avoid errors and incidents. Pace describes the driver's ability to set competitive lap times. Rating is a summary of the driver's overall skill level. Okay, so who do we got here? We got Ralph Bushung. I don't know if I... Tatiana Calderon Louis Deletrez Dorian Boccolacci I can't really pronounce these names <laughs> Luca Giotto I think these are all Antoine Hubert uh, So these are a lot of... Uh, these are F2 guys Nobuharu Matsushi I can't pronounce that last name Nick DeVries Hmm Hmm 
I'm gonna I'm looking at their ratings. So 53, 56, 58, 61, 61, 65, 65, 66. I think Nick DeVries has it. I think we'll sign Nick DeVries. So Nick, you're hired. No, looks like we can't afford this power unit supplier and teammate. Let's go back into one of those and oh, sign frick. someone cheaper. Or try and find a sponsor who pays more up front to offset the cost. Oh, okay, we got um Hmm. Obviously, uh, the better the performance and durability, the better. But be careful about spending all our cash. We're going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power, is power unit suppliers will also provide upgrades throughout the season at no extra cost. Hmm. So now we're. Hmm. Now. Looks like we can't shut up. Shut, shut up, whoever your heck you are. Let's <laughs> um. Hmm. Cheaper, or try and find a sponsor who pays more up front. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get a better sponsor. So, you, Pacifico, shut up, guy! Oh my gosh! At least you, I, I applaud that you button your button, but holy crap, you won't shut the hell up. <laughs> Pacifico, um, has a signing bonus of 5.2 million. So I think we're gonna have to sign them. Looks like we can't afford this power unit supplier and still team. we're still in the Let's hole. Back into one of those and sign someone. Um two hundred thousand dollars in the hole. So you are the drivers interested in joining us. Yo, can you shut up? I know this already. Holy crap, Nick DeVries. Two million dollars for your contact contract costs? Why the hell should I hire you, my guy? Well you're the best uh best out of all these guys. Um I think our best bet is to change our power unit. Power unit supplier and teammate. Honda. Let's go back into one of those and yeah, Honda. Honda will be good. Or try and find a spot. Looks Let's like try Honda. This power unit there we go. Pacifico, Honda, and Nick DeVries. Perfect. And a total of nine hundred thousand dollars. And we're in the gr we're in the white or in the green for this one. All right, so this is our teammate Nick DeVries, our power unit Honda, and our sponsor Pacifico. For Ray Ray Racing, perfect. Let's go. Oh, it's, we get to edit our livery? Oh, thank God, so I don't have to make an ugly car. Alright, let's take a look at our livery select. Ooh, that is ugly. <laughs> um. No, 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 yeah. Um. Hmm. This is our livery. I really have to update my livery though. Good. That one, oh, that one looks really good. Look at that. I like the uh, the blue and the black how they mix. Oh, that's really good. I think I might choose this one. This is a. This is our car. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. Uh, yeah, d but our our uh, our uniforms have to change though to like blue or something, because we look really ugly. It's like um a badge. Hmm. Last but not least, we need to pick team colors for the rest of our brand. You'll see these colors throughout HQ. All right, so we can. Okay. Um, our team colors are blue, black, and mm, yeah, blue and black. So blue. That's kind of blue, right? No, it's not the same shade of blue though. Oh my gosh! I mean, that's good. That's everything we need. Yeah, that's about good. I like. I don't really care about the HQ. We'll come back here at the start of each season. But if you're ready to go, hit advance to head to Team HQ. And we can start our push to the top of Formula One. All right, thank you. You never gave me your name, but all right, whatever. All right, so this is our season. Twenty-two. We're gonna select a twenty-two race season. We're gonna race at Australia first. Oh, wow. We're in an interview already. Oh, you didn't button his button. Yeah, thanks, man. I'm okay. Okay, we're live in five. 
Hello folks and welcome to the HQ of Formula One's newest team. We've been invited backstage to gain an exclusive insight into what could be one of the most exciting entries in the sport for many years. Now we've seen a number of new teams enter the sport over the last decade, amongst their number Manor, Caterham, HRT and of course Haas. And while some have proved to be successful, others have morphed into different teams and some have disappeared completely. What marks this team out, though, as being something different is that its owner is also its driver. Now, there's a rich history of that in Formula One, too. Sir Jack Brabham, John Surtees, Graham mm. Hill, and Bruce McLaren all drove their own cars in the sport, but it has become increasingly rare in recent years. What's very special about this team, though, is that, that while the team itself is new to Formula One, so, too, is its driver and owner. Whatever happens this season, you've already made the history books. Tell me, do you feel up to the mammoth task of both managing and driving for a Formula One team? Nothing's easy. Is nothing easy is worth doing. I live for challenges like this. Every team needs two drivers. But what was it that drew you to your teammate? Uh, he was the best one of his kind. Uh. It was the right. F it was finding the right fit for the team. They understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. It was tough to get any drivers to sign on to a new team, but I'm glad they took a gamble. <laughs> That's the worst thing to say. We've seen what they can do on paper, and I see a lot of potential in them. Yeah, definitely. I saw a lot of potential in Nick. No one aims to finish bottom of the table. Who's the team you're aiming to beat? Hmm, the team we're being to beat. Oh, definitely Hass and Günther Steiner. How are you expecting the car to feel out on track? Um, making the car as responsive as possible was uh, was one of our main goals. This is going this is going to give us an edge going to the corners. We focus heavily on maximizing our traction out of the corners. Um, I would say, but to be honest, though, our sim data looks good, but we don't know until we get on the track. We need to get on the track first. I don't know how the, the car is going to handle. Now have years of experience, both on and off the track. How are you planning to catch up to them? Um. Hmm. There's brought a lot of complexity into the fuel loads are a key. It's going to be tough. We'll have a better pick chat. It is going to be tough. It's a long road to the top, and I think we, our team, can do it. Ray Ray Racing. I believe in Nick DeVries. I believe in us. We're going to get a team. We're going to get a win. We're gonna win. You hear me? Overtaking is a key part of this sport. How have you ensured that your car can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? How have you ensured that you that you can take advantage of each opportunity that comes your way? Um. Uh. It yeah. F one isn't just one race. It's the whole season. Rigor stress testing means we can avoid grid penalties and failures. Um. Yeah. Oh, our durability department will notice that. Which of your new departments are you most proud of? Hmm. I really like our power unit. We got a Honda. We got a Honda engines. They produced Max Verstappen's dominating career in in uh, Red Bull this season. He got a win already. Almost had two if he wasn't if they didn't pit him on the last lap. But yeah, I think um, our power unit Honda. Is a part of our success. Well, that's about all we've got time for here. We will see how this fledgling team fares in its first Grand Prix. All right, thank you. Okay, he kind of looked like Rick Allen, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know who that is, to be honest. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So right now we're on the 25th of February. So this is around oh, like a week after the Daytona 500. But our next Grand Prix is the 12th of March. So we're almost, we're like a little under a month ahead of our. Grand Prix. So we got aerodynamics, chassis, personnel, marketing, durability, and powertrain. Um, that's a that's a lot of money to be to be going in here. So I mean, personnel and marketing they apparently cost nothing. Oh, <laughs> there's our simulator. <laughs> Look at him go. What is he racing at? Canada? No, Monza. <laughs> yeah, you get him. Uh, marketing. Durability, chassis, aerodynamic. Our powertrain has is apparently level one. Everything else is level zero. So I think we should upgrade our aerodynamics. Oh wow, these are these are fabrications. 
Well, we got insufficient funds at the moment. We got... We only got... What, 900k in the bank? So let's advance time to... The 2nd of March. Okay. General durability. And now we reached the 6th. So we gotta go to a car reveal. It's time to reveal the sum of our hard work to the world. Prepare to feast your eyes on the greatest team ever. Ferrari, Mercedes are not even g as good as what we're about to reveal. Look at this beast! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Oh my goodness! Yes! You can't beat this thing. This, the blue bullet will, will annihilate all of you. Whether it's me crashing into you guys or, or me winning. Either way, I'm still gonna annihilate you. Nick DeVries and I, we're going to the top, baby. So, we're on the 6th of March. We are six days away from our first Grand Prix. So, currently... <laughs> Look at that! Even though we are new to the sport, we're still better than Williams. Aww. Oh, poor George Russell and, uh... And, um... Shoot, what the heck is the other guy's name? Oh, frick, I just forgot what the other guy's name. Yo, what what the frick is his name? It's, um... Nicholas Latifi. Oh, poor George Ru George Russell and Nicholas Latifi. Oh well, George Russell is probably gonna take a shirtless pic just to uh get better at it, <laughs> just to uh make him feel better. So currently we're almost at the bottom. We're ahead of Williams. We're behind Haas F1, Alfa Romeo, and Scuderia Alfa Tori Honda. So now it's race weekend. We're here at Melbourne. It's our first race with our new team. Let's go to our race weekend. It's season one, race one. Let's go to Australia. Okay, so here you are at. Um, apparently this is Australia, so, hey, is our center. Hey, high five, man. You ready to start our new season? Just leave me alone, I know what to do. How about you, sir? Are you ready to start our new season? Yeah, he's totally excited. Is that our teammate, Nick DeVries? Hey, Nick! Hey! Hey, Nick, look at me! Oh, okay. He's ignoring me. Um, well, this is our computer. That's my smartphone, apparently. <laughs> um, okay. Let's take a look at our practice. Um, I don't think we... Do we need practice? I mean, yeah, practice makes perfect, but... Carl... Oh, we got Jeff! Hey, Jeff, what's up? Qualifying looks good, but there's a strong threat of rain during the race. Have a think about whether you want to make any set of changes to prepare for that. Bearing in mind, we'll be in Park Ferme after we leave the garage to qualify. Morning everyone, I have attached the preview of for this race Grand Prix, for this weekend's Grand Prix. If you have any questions, come see me in the data center, Carl. So, our, the drivers, the weekend preview, the drivers got Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen. We're in 22nd for Ray Ray Racing. I don't know where our boy Nick qualified. So... Our IT department, to all new team members, thank you for your patience during the recent downtime. I am pleased to confirm that the issues with our internal network have been resolved and you should now have all have full access to the systems required by your role. If you encounter any further issues with network permissions, please contact the IT department. Okay, so it's Carl. Two messages from Carl and one from Jeff. Thanks, buddy. I don't think we need to... I think we should go to practice, the three practice sessions, and then qualifying. So let's go into practice and um, see if our car is any good. We're going to do like all three. I'm going to run like 10 laps maybe in each one. All right, here we are in practice. Here it's our Morning, boss. Jeff here. Thanks again for bringing me on board. You found a lot of talented people for this team. I can't wait to see what we can accomplish. Me too, Jet. to the Constructors Championship starts here today, and the car is ready to head out whenever you are. Me too, Jeff. Thank you, buddy. Uh, it's kind of funny that uh, Jeff Gordon is our spotter in in uh, NASCAR Heat Five, but Jeff, the English Jeff, is a uh, is our spotter for F1 2020. So I think we're ready to go. It is our first time in the car. In the unforgiving world of Formula One, free practice sessions are a vital part of any Grand Prix weekend. What? During your F1 career, you'll be able to utilize these sessions to complete practice programs, which will help you learn the track and earn you points that can be invested in developing your car. You'll also be able to adjust your car setup over the course of these sessions to try and find those extra fractions of a second. 
The sporting regulations dictate that after each free practice session, you'll have to hand back two sets of your dry tyre allocation for the weekend. So get the most out of them while you can. Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's test this car on the track. Alright, it's our first time on the track. My gosh, that engine is loud. I gotta fix that. Oh my gosh, got a lot of understeer, a lot of understeer. Frick. Yo, this usually takes like five seconds during the race. What did you... I did not break the car that much. Alright, I'm gonna take it easy into this corner. Alright. Don't get on the gas too hard. How's our boy Nick doing? They put us on the hard tires. Okay. So we're currently in P21. Um, I don't know how many laps we're gonna run. What the? That distracted me, that speed trap. That distracted me. And we spun out again. Nick DeVries is gonna finish practice uh, in 16th position. We're gonna be in 22nd. Um, I think if we can get a uh, better run or something like look at that, 31 seconds. Um, looks like we're gonna have a team carrier here and that's gonna be Nick DeVries. One shot qualifying here in uh, in Australia. Looks like there's a uh, clear, well not really totally clear skies. There's our car. So let's do this. Here we go. One shot qualifying. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, went in the grass. Oh, we're in the grass. We're in the grass. Okay, we're going to be at the back of the grid. Unless we can pull some miracle and start moving. But I braked a little late there. That was my fault. <laughs> oh boy, this is not going to be a good one. Ah. Uh. Hamilton's on pole, but that's nothing new. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. We got a 3.8 gap. We're not tracking anybody. Looks like qualifying will end and uh, Hamilton's going to be ahead. You got to have fast reactions with these cars, man. It's not like the NASCAR cars. And uh, NASCAR Heat 5, you gotta have fast reactions for these things. Like there. Qualifying's over and looks like we're gonna qualify in last place. So we really got, got a lot of work to do for our first race in F1. So there's our grid. Bottas, Leclerc, and Hamilton are on the are the first three. Followed by Vettel, Avalon, and Verstappen. Sainz, Ricardo, Norris, Gasly, Alcon, Kvyat, Perez, Stroll, Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Raikkonen, Grosjean, Russell, our boy Nick DeVries is in 20th, uh, Nicholas Latifi in 21st, and we're in 22nd. Can we get our new team to a good finish here in Australia? Let's find out. Okay, we are here in uh, Australia for the first race of the season. We are right behind our teammate. There's our teammate Nick DeVries right ahead of us. Let's take a look at our race strategy. Okay, so we're going to pit on lap 7 and that should take us to the end. It's going to rain towards the end of the race, so that's going to be interesting to see if we'll have to uh, if we'll have to put any other, like, uh, uh, the intermediates or we can stay on the current tire. But here we go. Let's start our race. Four. Five. We're green in Australia. We got a good, better run than the Breeze. Oh, what the heck, man? Why would you go in front of me? Grosjean to the end inside we got a a nice scent on the inside and we're already up to 16th but we got into stroll a little bit um wow that was a that was a run shut up jeff okay copy that <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, we're around. Who is that? Russell? Oh my gosh. Let's catch Stroll now. Stroll, Perez, Magnuson right ahead. We got a really good launch off that off the start of the race. I don't know what happened to Grosjean and all those guys. Seems like they really slowed up as we almost uh, uh, got into the back of Stroll there. We're ready to complete lap one. So he's got to settle into a rhythm. That's not settling in. There we go. Now we got to uh, somehow catch back up the Stroll here. We're going to be in DRS zone, but the DRS is still not activated. Oh, man. What a... We got a really nice car. The Honda power unit is amazing. I don't know where our boy uh, DeVries is hanging out. Hopefully he's doing good. Oh boy, almost clipped the sausage curve there and uh, spun it out. It's not really a sausage curve, it's a ripple strip. <laughs> Trying to catch it back up the Lance Stroll here. He's just ahead. Oh, he's just right there. DRS is going to be activated this lap. That's, the, that's Stroll, Perez, and that's um, uh, Haas. I don't know if it's... Uh, Kevin or Roman? I, it might be Kevin though because I believe I passed Roman already. No, it's Magnuson. Yeah, it is Kevin. Um, pff, of course it is. And we got six more cars ahead of them, so we're up. If we can get the DRS. Whoa, got a little loose there. Charles Leclerc with the fastest lap. So uh, clearly Mattia Bonato is clearly ferrying him over uh, Sebastian Vettel. DRS has been enabled. We're catching Stroll. A little bit. When we're in a DRS zone, he's toast. There's a huge line of cars ahead of us. The two Force India... Wow, Force India... Racing points. The one Haas and the two Renaults ahead of him. Well, one Renault and there's two Alpha Tauris ahead of him. Currently, we're doing way better than our... We're doing a little better than our teammate. I can't seem to catch back up to uh, Stroll here. But we catch him on the straightaway. On the straightaway, we're doing really good. But we're making red sectors, though. We're not making green. We're not making purple sectors. I don't really like that curve that we just passed by. That one's really tough to get by. Oh, come on, dude. You're right there. He's right there. He's not pulling away too much. 180 miles per hour down the back straightaway. Not really back straightaway. There's down the straightaway. <laughs> That's what I meant. I keep thinking this is like a NASCAR track, but it's not. It's an F1 track. Picked up a little grass on our windscreen, in our windscreen there. I can see a little grass. I'm just worried I'm going to hit a curve and I'm going to spin out. But you can't really think about that. We're pulling away from Russell and Raikkonen though. Four seconds. That's what I'm afraid of. Almost spun it out. I'm focusing at this one turn at a time. We're going to catch them gradually. I don't know where DeVries is. I hope he's doing good back there. We're about one third through the race already. We got, we still are behind Stroll and Perez. What the heck was that? I didn't get to accelerate through that short shoot. I think we're braking earlier than we need to. But I'd rather do that than over, than uh, brake later than we need to and then we go off track. Are we catching Stroll? Not really, the gap is still two seconds. Yeah, it's two seconds now. He's got DRS on his teammate, Russell, and got past, well, Reckoning got by Russell. Um, we might, we have a lap of extra energy, so I'm going to use it. That should give us a speed boost, and we can catch back up. Oh my gosh, that's worrying. And we see we lose time because of that. It's like, oddly, Stroll and Perez, they're not passing each other. They're just stuck next to each other. They can't get by each other. They're stuck next to each other. Our pit window is open. Uh, we're going to pit this time. Yeah, everyone else is pitting. Our boy is actually going to stay out. There goes DeVries. So we got we need a clean pit stop, boys. Come on. We got this. How fast are we going to get? 2.3 seconds. Not bad. So we got Riken in behind us. So Riken actually gained a lot on us through that pit stop. Okay, we were getting too close to that wall for comfort. Nick DeVries to the pits. Russell to the pits. We're going to gain those positions back. Is that K-Mag ahead of us? It is. It's K Kevin Magnuson right ahead of us. Well, we can pass one. If we can pass one Haas car, we can pass another. I'm trying to catch Kevin here, but 
He's pulled out to a 3.1 second lead. We're gradually gaining on him though. Because in some areas we're faster than he is. Oh my gosh! That is scary. All right, get in gaining. Oh, Latifi to the pits. That's another position. Kimmy's gonna be in a DRS zone pretty soon. The Iceman is right behind us. That was a horrible corner. Still made it stick though. I mean, for our first race, I know it's not a points paying position, but that's better than what we have been been racing in uh, multiple seasons here at um, in Australia. Like if you don't remember, when I used to do the full season, the full races, that was horrible. But we're actually doing pretty good now. Well, I don't want to, don't mean to jinx it. As we got one third of the race to go, Kimi Raikkonen is right behind us. He's gonna take the inside. What the heck was that, Kimi? Boah. Inside? Nope. Defend? Aw, oh, Raikkonen's gonna have the position. Ow. Oh, frick. Aw, oh, damn it! Ah. Yo, what, what are you doing, Giovinazzi? Dang it! I got to the inside that messed up my eggs in the corner. Ah, oh, we're out. Yeah, dang it, man. The curse of the of the retirement strikes again here in in uh, Australia. But we're going to get him next time in Bahrain. That's for sure. So who won? You're kidding me. They won? Freaking Ferrari? Well, you're not going to see that this year. That's for sure. Oh, Charles Leclerc. Today, Not Seb. Well Lando with a ninth place finish. That... <laughs> look at him. Look how happy it is. So we're gonna race next time in Bahrain. I think we can get a. I think we can get a good finish out of that one. So as we move on. Dang man, could have had something there. Okay, so we're gonna go to Bahrain next time, but we're gonna save that for our next video. Thank you so much for watching today, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed today's video and subscribe for more F1 2020 content as well as other content I produce on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching everybody. I'll see you next time.